Hello everyone. This is just a uh, a uh, quick little tutorial on how to use the new language manager. Um, the old uh, language manager, Softbox language manager, is no longer being developed and has been completely rebuilt and reborn into language manager. Language manager now comes with a lot more features. And uh, let's get started. So first you want to uh, download and install Language Manager. As you can see, here's a list of its features. It um, works in Firefox and uh, has options to work in Firefox Beta. Um, so you can, uh, s if you're using Firefox Beta, you can set it to Firefox Beta and download and install the language packs with Firefox Beta. You can also easily quickly switch between language packs, which I'll show you in a sec. Okay, language one has been installed. Uh, you can access it through the app menu or through the the uh, menu bar. Um, also has a uh, button here which you can just drag select button there if you uh, switch between many languages here's the uh, the main interface for so uh, for the language manager here's where you uh, download the, the language packs install and um, you can also switch between language packs so here I'm going to just select the language pack I'm going to, once I've selected the language pack, I'm going to click install. Just then going to download and install the language pack. Install, language pack's been installed. Now, if you want to install multiple language packs, say you speak more than one language, you can then select, say, another language, click install, and you can install multiple languages. And once you've installed the language packs you want, you can click finish and it'll prompt for a restart. Now, if you've installed multiple language packs and you want a specific language to be your main default language, um, if you just refresh the tab, it'll uh, show you the information panel. And then you can just like double click on the one you wish to be the default language. And then it'll restart and so that is your default language. Otherwise, you can restart by clicking the finish, and then when it loads up, switch to the language pack you want. There is also options available. Um, enable browser version detection. This is for Cyberfox only. Um, say you've got an older version of Cyberfox that you wish to install the language pack for. Uh, you enable this feature here, and then it'll detect the browser version and download the language pack for that version. Otherwise, if this is unchecked and you run it in the older versions of Subfox, you'll try and install the latest versions language pack, which will probably cause an error. Here, you can also uh, reset your current language. Say you want to reset it back to the default language. Just click that button and it resets. Um, as before, you can uh, install languages. And you can also just switch between languages just by double clicking on the, the language pack that's in the list. Here in the uh, the information panel, you have the name of the language pack. You also have the version. I'll tell you the version number of the language pack that's installed, the date and time that it was installed on. If it's enabled, like some packs might be disabled. And if it's a compatible pack, like uh, say this is 32.0.1, this would say that it's disabled and not compatible, because if it's not compatible, it's not going to be enabled. Now let's just go over into the languages section, deactivate one, and reload, and you'll see the uh, 
information is updated. Now if I say I want it, I'll, if I wanted this pack installed, I could double click it. I mean activate it, sorry. And it'll activate it and set it, like enable it and set it as the default pack. So yes, this is the uh, the new language manager. Oh, there's also um, support forums link and con link to the contacts page if you have any issues, or let's report any issues. Um, and also, uh, if you use smaller windows, you'll notice it's on the little sidebar there.